Good morning, Turtle Club. It is just right before 7 a.m. for this wonderful Fortnite Friday here on Convertible Turtle Gaming, and we're going to be doing some Play With Others missions. And we just want to kind of show the loadout that we got going here as far as how we're going to be going in, uh, what we're going to be doing to hopefully contribute, and kind of uh, mainly just providing DPS and all-around good gather rates as far as we could. Um, and that, you know, missions basically are one of three things. They're kill the things, protect the things, or take the things. And this is our all around balanced kind of outlander that we use for that. Um, we're using Fragment Flurry Jess now, typically. We were using Jilly Teacup before. Um, she's great for just a pure damage build, but um, for the flex build not so much and I'll, I'll show you one of the reasons why here we go to these abilities you'll notice she's got Teddy face shift in seismic smash Teddy gets the damage uh, seismic smash gets some of the crowd control and face shift uh, gets you where you need but the seismic smash has a couple of issues um, number one it is just a conical thing it's good for clearing things away from you so you can escape we're not going to be needing that so much as when we do crowd control, we're going to need to be actually helping other people survive and escape. So we're going to take a look at what we're doing as our main Fragment Flurry Jess. Now there are two really reasons why we're using this. Number one, Fragment Generation for every elimination. Um, every 13, you gain a Fragment. Uh, that's going to be huge because of our cooldown on our Teds are going to be reduced because of us using Fragments after we kill the first 13 things. So at the very beginning of these missions, we're going to go kill a couple of just random husks, and then it's pretty much going to be teddy bears for days. Uh, her abilities are teddy bear, of course, face shift, just like teacup, but shock tower. And the shock tower is what I want to actually point out here, uh, is 30 energy, cool set, cooldowns 12 seconds. However, you may have noticed seismic shift was 9 seconds, and you're like, well, that could be useful, right? You could be doing that kind of thing. Um, yes, but... But, because it's 30 energy, and because it's a fragment ability, it perks up into this. Spinning a charge fragment reduces Teddy and Shock Tower cooldowns by an additional 10%. Now, that's just a second or two with the reductions we have. But, if you think about it, Shock Tower goes down, it's got 12 second cooldown, it's got a like a five second duration. We have Happy Holidays reducing that by 40%. We got the Impossibility Matrix reducing that by another 10%. If you guys are doing math out there, that means that the actual cooldowns for this is six seconds. We throw down the Shock Tower, we wait for it to expire one second later, which is an attorney in some actual fights. But one second later, we throw down another tower. Now, same thing with what we have here. We have duration. It's extended with the bears. We got this matrix popping in there. We have the happy holidays there. When we actually get to the end of our duration on our bear, we only have a two second cooldown left. So what we're normally gonna be doing here with this Fragment Flurry Jess build is we're gonna be throwing down a teddy bear after we get to those 13 to get that first charge fragment, watching it mow down everything. And when it gets to like three seconds left on our teddy bear cooldown, we're gonna throw down a shock tower if needed to help kind of clear the way and keep the husks under. The last thing in this build that were really um, not as important is under warranty, 100% crit chance against new targets, 5% chance to go completely bonkers and just start targeting things randomly, which means 100% crit the whole entire time. This is kind of a flex slot. There are a lot of other TED things you can put in there, but because we have our actual um, Jilly Teacup leveled up, it's going to save us on some of our materials so we have to avoid leveling her up. Same thing with Ghoulish Cackle. Ghoulish Cackle increases our ability damage by 37.5% based on the percentage of missing health. Now, this is a super flex slot. We're only using it mainly because we suspect that in our, our venture today, where we're running around and helping randos, as they're called, or randoms, or pugs, or pogs, as some have called them, um, we are, um, we're expecting we're going to be down in, in low on hit points. 
So our gadgets for that, we're going to use the stationary hover turret because damage burst is very important and adrenaline rush to keep us alive. It also heals an extra tick of like 15, yeah, 15,000 over 5 seconds basically. Um, it also purges negative effects, not as useful, but we might find a need for it. Uh, that is, so this is the build that we're coming in here with. If we knew exactly what missions we were coming in with, Ice King might be a better build. Um, our farming build might be a better build. Our really fun flex build that we're messing with might be a better build. But we really, we really want to make sure that we're going in and contributing. So, plays with others uh, exactly as it says. Uh, our little 72 power here. We're going to go to map. We're going to start off in Stonewood. Now, you may notice Digret and I, we did get to Canny Valley. Uh, we've not really done a whole lot in it yet, but we finally did get to that point. Uh, so we're going to start in Stonewood. There's just this little question mark. You hit it. Hit select. And it's going to find anybody who's currently in a public group. And we're going to best choice to find others at any available difficulty. Recommended power here is 19. We're a 72. Uh, here we're going to get some bonus XP and some mission rewards bonus. Uh, so that's kind of one of the reasons why you do play with others. Uh, there's also some quests. Um, let's do that again. Quick play. Launch. There we go. It's going to find us somewhere in Stonewood and just politely put us there for anybody who's in the public group. So anyone who's like in a public group, like here we go. We don't know where we're at. You'll notice that we have a play with others as our region. So no telling what mission we're about to go in. Oh, it's a somebody storm shield. Okay, so there are possible issues here. We might actually be running into a a trade mission. Yeah, that's what this... Uh, maybe not. Cool. Searching for help. We are absolutely, absolutely going to be providing help here. They're about to fire up these storm shields. This is Stonewood Storm Shield. Looks like we're... Uh, go to objectives. Storm Shield Defense Day 1. Um, okay. We are absolutely going to be able to take this on and really knock this out they got some pretty good defenses they look like they have some basic trap tunnels and this is like some serious overbuild oh my goodness so this is bad um this is all dot traps they really um unfortunately they're they're not really going to get much issue or usage out of this they would want to alternate these one after the other and probably put these ceiling traps in between because these do AOE damage and they'll trigger from two tiles away. Um, this much overbuilding, especially with my teacup build that I'm going here. Oh wow, they got B totally isolated too. It's not too bad though. They got some, some good grounding there. Okay. Usually the attack first comes on this actual platform. Yep, here we go. Shield power increasing. We're gonna have this attack from the the northeast. From the east. And what we're gonna do is there's like a ch natural choke point right here, which they could have built into and been okay with. But when these things start up, we're just gonna start weighing lace to them. And actually, we don't even have to do that. We just grab a charge fragment and we just go. And you'll notice, guys, already my charge fragments are just ticking right up. That guy's got his hover turret up. That's fine. Shock tower down. A few seconds later, teddy bear. And this is can't damage without permission, so we don't have any perms, so we don't have to worry about breaking anything here, which is just great. Shock tower. Anything that tries to get through here, bam. Uh, they're up there cleaning up whatever we miss. All right, works for me. 
Now, the cool thing about a Storm Shield Defense is one of the prizes for it is a Llamas of the mini variety. Shock Tower goes down again. Anything that doesn't make it past that. And then the bear goes down again. It's just rinse, lather, repeat. We're already up to combat damage badge. We just killed a mist monster. We're probably going to kill a couple of those. Um, ideally, I'd want this tree out of the way. So I'd not have to worry about line of sight issues with the teddy bear. But it is what it is. Drop the shock tower. It's going to kill everything that gets nearby. And then that's it. You'll notice we're not really losing charge fragments. We are killing these things in such a way that the charge fragments keep coming. Um, they're deploying the gas traps as a way to help their DPS, which is not a bad idea. Um, if the guy who actually owned the storm shield built a little bit better, it wouldn't be too bad. All right, and we're gonna go to B because it's always B next. And there's another natural choke point. We'll just slip through here. Um, not sure what they got that trap box for. Oh, that trap box is possibly not going to survive. That should be okay. But what we're going to do here is we're going to probably launch the teddy bear right here and launch the hover to it. I do have questions about the uh, floating thing, but oh well. Oh, this is just to eliminate X. We're just going to mow this out. Alright, that's all there is to that. And they're attacking A, so we want to just get nearby A. Look over here. Where's our choke? Choke point seems to be right here. So we're just going to defend from like right here. We did blow both two uh, of our hover turrets. I don't think we're going to need them here. I don't even know. Let's see. Where are we at? Inventory. We're like, yeah, we're doing great. We're just going to basically choke point it out here, rinse, lather, repeat. If you guys remember, every time this thing hits it, every time this thing hits a new target that basically full 100% hit points, it has 100% chance to crit because we put teacup in the build. Here we go for seconds, get that down, and then teddy bear loop. This person's just running them through the traps. They may have a thing to kill them by traps, I guess. So, we'll just, just keep them there. I hear the music for some sort of mist monster, but I don't see one. Oh. There's a smasher. Twenty-five seconds. All right, we're good. Teddy bear is going to mop the rest of that up for us. Weapon durability low. Do we have another one? Let's check. Um. There. Battery cycle. Just get rid of all these small things. We have a break in the action. Equip that. Another wave coming soon. 
Coming towards C. Prepare for an attack from the south. It's being attacked in the south. What all we got here? Ah, this place. Okay. This place is not as fun as we've been looking at. There's. It's not horrible. But the big problem with this place is looking at it first, you'll see that it seems to have like three ramps. The problem is that one of these ramps actually splits off to two paths. So if they get up this ramp, they go up this way. Hey, good morning, Sally. We're playing with the public today. Just doing some doing some good, I guess is the best way to say it. Getting ready for work. All righty. Hope you and Matt have a good day today as well. And this is just an eliminate, so we're just going to kill as many things as we can as fast as we can. Going back to C? Interesting. Okay. Prepare for an attack from the west. Where are these guys coming from? They're coming from here. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So this will be a time to build. It's gonna really depend upon where my fellow players go. Oh, okay, Ghost Walk. That sounds cool. Digger and I did a ghost tour in Savannah, Georgia. It was really interesting. There was a, a gentleman who actually ran the tour. Uh, what was really cool about it is it was a driving tour, not a walking tour. So I'm okay with that. You know, I'm a big dude, but uh, if I don't have to walk somewhere, I won't. Um, this person's over here. Looks like they're going to be trying to kite them back into the traps. So we're going to go over here. I don't know what these other two people are doing. Bit. Oh well. But the really cool thing about the ghost tour that we went on was that they used decommissioned hearse for the actual vehicle conveyance. You know, most places do like a tour bus or something like that. Uh, we actually were in a hort, a, a legitimate hearse for the whole time. And it was kind of odd because they cut the top of the hearse off and put in bench seating. Okay, so they've left this whole side totally unprotected. All right. We're gonna put a teddy bear here. We're gonna put a hover turret there. And we're going to hope this ninja player over here understands this uh, NBA tray four times that we got to defend this base to get all of our bonuses. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was interesting. The the oh here we go another one of these guys. The really cool thing about the tour was. Dunhill Flat. Oh, that's good. But the uh, guy running the actual tour really knew his local history. And that's what made it really good. I mean, and he was very animated. Very animated. Like uh, Sven Gulli or uh, MST3K kind of zaniness as far as his animatedness goes. All right. My teddy bear should be able to take care of what this guy's not able to deal with right now. Oh, oh, here's here we go. Now we got, now we got the safety bag. Awesome. You did it. Awesome. 
Um, but yeah, it, the guy was just really knowledgeable at everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And he did like some odd voices. So it, it really kind of, it was like being on a ghost tour with Chadley as the tour guide, which I thought was pretty amazing. We'll get very little experience for this. We're not doing this so much for the experience. We're doing this for the rewards. And the rewards, you know, the chest rewards are going to be huge because we hardly did anything here. Oh, I stand corrected. Five tier chest. Okay. Um, let's see here. What were the combat stats? Yeah. See, this is why I love bringing in my Outlander. They do a, a massive amount of damage. Massive amount of damage. And since it's it's all what they call trash damage, though, not meaning that's bad, just that it's basically killing all the little things. Um, because we're in a very underleveled area, we do get to do some other stuff. Let's see. Can I go back and take a look at that? Because that's hero XP. Look at that. 10,000 hero XP. That's going to help so much for us. And we'll go and throw these underneath our resources. Alright. And it's probably going to be what we wind up seeing a lot when we pop into these missions. I didn't need the Adrenaline Rush. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my hero loadout and since we're going to be in an active mission I think I'm going to change this up to supply drop so I can get some more loot to kind of help replace the weapons I'm using while I'm, I'm in here alright oh look at that we're so close to the next power level we just need some like drops of rain alright quick play bam oh okay well, I'm sorry to hear that Sal um, we, we got lucky, um, so a lot of the U.S. is having some weather-related issues right now. In the, in the Midwest, they have a lot of ice storms and snow. In the Southeast right now, we're getting all the fallout from Zeta, uh, which is just as equally unfortunate. Okay, we have a find the target place of the Atlas mission. All right. And they have yet to find the Atlas Okay. This is going to be different. This is the reason why we bring Julie Teacup. This is the reason why we bring our our Jess. We bring our Outlander. But yeah, I actually lost internet and power in my apartment with Digrat like four times last night during work, which was, you know, less than favorable. Wasn't the best possible experience for us to have. Alright. Stand still for a second. Okay, unless it's in the middle of there, we're going to go and try to find that there. This is two jumps. we got to go up. But yeah, and there's people from my hometown, way back in Oklahoma, that are currently without power, they're without heat, they're without just basically all the things that one would hope to have in the middle of bad weather and stuff. It's not the worst kind of situation to be in, but it definitely is not a, a pleasant one. Yeah, it's definitely not good, Sally. But, you know, we, we do what we can with what we have. Really excited for the Renos are doing. Oh, nice. I'm kind of excited for Hyrule Warriors Cataclysm still. I do know, according to a few uh, places I've looked at... Um, oh, located. we got we got to it. Alright, drop this... And that is just someone who's there to build, I guess.
But yeah, there's a demo for the Hyrule Warriors game. New laundry room? Sounds... No, no. Yeah, when, anytime they renovate something that's a often used place in a building or a location is great. See, that's that's my, 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 uh, my need for it, right, is the story. I, I, for one, really am hoping that the story is great, but I'm kind of... It is kind of unfortunate the way they got the story coming. Oh, this person knows what they're doing. Or they did. Um objectives. Okay, there's no there's no additions here. I'm gonna let this person just build the rest of the base they want to build. Or not. See, this is where I kind of wish I had Ice King. Uh, on the plus side, this is this is very much a battle royale build. Um, you can tell this is how you do it in battle royale. You build the wall, you build the ramp. But what they didn't do, and what they could still do, is this. Because ultimately what it does is it actually prevents them from breaking through all the walls. I don't mind burning a little bit of inventory on these guys. Because that's what I'm here for, right? And they're wanting to build with wood. They can build with wood. I have no problems with that. And the last thing I'll do... Hey, activation of vote. Okay, cool. I'm good to start this thing. is go into our inventory, go to our traps. We're gonna build these out. Um, these have auto heal properties. So I'm just gonna put them there, and there, and there, and that will help auto heal where I'm not here with my actual base player. I don't know why they're building over here though. It's very silly for them to build there. But I do know that right here is going to be a point that they don't want to have this base this thing there at all. We're we're doing this so we can build a little hat on it. Yep, I'm I'm ready to go. Let's just go ahead and put this down here too. They want to see what's going on, they can see through the window. Yeah, I, I the story is really where I want to be with it too, Sally. I'm I'm not a fan of the Warrior series. I, I like mindless games like that don't get me wrong and I mean no offense to anybody who enjoys the series um, oh okay when that person gets bounced for being idle we'll be able to actually vote and, and start the mission That's enough blue glow. all right sweet you got this commander That wasn't good. We see the, uh, the we just 
we just didn't have our shard, and now we're getting we're getting some low stuff because of it. Uh, we do have our box, though. We're going to drop our box and get our stuff out of our box. We're going to have to hold down the fort here for just a second, though, while we wait. Now we go. Now we can start Teddy Bear looping. And we can go ahead and... This is way overbuilt back here, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the, the Warriors brand. They're, they're fun, but there are so much other games that do very similar that I'm glad for the Hyrule part of it, right? But for the straight up Warriors franchise, not so much. And I know that's probably not what the devs of Warrior brand want to know, or want to hear, or want to be told. But it is what it is, unfortunately. But yeah, the other thing about Hyrule Warriors, and it's something that you're starting to see a little bit of a trend in the streaming community in the gaming community, more than the streaming community. Um, but these these companies, these devs, they have made these these games like Fortnite, you know, that's very story driven. And um, a lot of their story is getting put out to people for free. Anybody with a YouTube account, anybody with a Twitch account, anybody with any other uh, this person is now blocking off my teddy bear. That's funny. They want to do that. We can do other things. But yeah, the Warriors franchise, being the what it is, and how they they built it and set it up, it is great. And they are once again trying to block my teddy bear off. Not the brightest idea, especially with where it's at, because those curly cues will destroy all the building. But yeah. And it's, it's silly. Uh, the reason why they're blocking off the teddy bear is because they don't want me to be the top of the damage chart. That's the only literal reason for people to avoid that is because they don't want to wind up having their DPS not tallied correctly. In about two seconds, all those walls that they just built are going to go down. Yeah, see, when they spawn, that's what happens. But yeah, it, it looks fun. Hyrule Warriors looks like it'd be good. Um, I've played the other Warriors, Dynasty Warriors games. I didn't play the other Hyrule Warriors game. It looks good, but just not really where I want to be with it. But unfortunately, there's not going to be required much um, from the game. It says they'll be kicked soon for being idle. You 
Eh, we're just about done. But yeah, so dev devs are kind of worried about that though, right? And they're trying to put down ramps now to stop it. And let's just do this. Here's our box. Go ahead and get that again. And pretty much exactly what we've been doing this whole entire time, guys. Teddy bear loops. All the teddy bear loops. And what's funny um, is they keep building to, to block the teddy bear. I'm not sure why they do that. This is basically just saving them ammo. Saving them durability on their weapon. And that's 12 seconds. We got the we got this built. We got this bait. We have no concerns here. Let's go over to the base. If we have a way to get back into it still. Nicely done, Commander. Alright, no worries, no worries. You too, you too, Sally. We're uh we're definitely gonna be streaming for another about hour and 20 minutes. A person that was going to be booted all the time for being idle never got booted. They probably have an anti idle timer. Have a good one, Sally. Thanks for popping in. And we're going to see what we, we spent just a little bit of metal and brick and some energy cells. Yeah. Not really amazing stuff, right? But it is getting us. Credit for a quest. Now I want to show you guys this quest. It's the challenges. And it's called Play as Well as with Others. A thousand plays with others missions. A thousand. <laughs> it's going to take a bit. It's going to take a bit. It gets you a challenge banner. Um, figured why not grind on it a little bit today. It's the most interesting thing to grind in my opinion. Because you really never know what you're going to wind up with. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. We can go to mission details. It's not going to show us anything here. Until we go here. Launch the rocket. Oh. Okay. Launch the rocket is probably one of the worst defend the thing missions ever. Uh, you do one at the end of each zone. It requires blue glow. The build isn't horrible. But it's definitely not one that I recommend anybody playing for fun. I'm going to just pick us up a charge fragment here. 
Okay, here is somebody's build. Okay. So we got some interesting stuff going here. We got some husks here. Let's go ahead and pop the, the drain plug with those guys out. Uh, this is such a bad place for the rocket too. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, that's not where we want to be with that at all. So the way this mission works is there's a rocket ship and you have to defend it and then you launch it in outer space. And that's pretty much the mission. Um, it is a defend the thing mission. You know, we, we talked about how there's basically three missions. Uh, get the thing, kill the thing, defend the thing. This is one of those defend the things. I honestly don't know what their plan is. But I do see that they're building with metal. And trying to get this thing built with metal. So... One thing we can do is build this up with metal and try our best to support it when it happens. We're going to have guys fighting from here coming this way. They are trapping it. There's that. So that's not bad. I mean, technically, I could build a diamond box here. And it wouldn't be bad. I don't even know what they did that for. Wow. Alright. Uh, technically I could probably... Look in here, guys. These build the rocket missions are always just so no bueno. They don't have all the walls protected. Wow. I thought maybe they would have all the walls protected. They are building with metal. That's good. And they are ninja jumping to build higher. That's also good. Just go ahead and get this little nice uh, trap and blade, I guess. They didn't want it. Sweet. We'll take it. Not sure exactly what they're doing. Other than getting their scaffold going on. Okay. Let's do this. I know one thing I could absolutely do for certain is build this. Oh, they want a difficulty? Sure. I don't have a problem with that. battery cycle all these wow and then I just want to T grab 
And actually, that was not the brightest thing we could do for her. We're going to do this. And we're going to tell her to unsummon, and then we're going to summon her right back in her little box. And... One of these... One of those... No, actually... Um, three of these. So when you're doing plays with others, um, there is something to keep in mind, is it's whatever they're doing, right? So there is a very strong, strong possibility, and I do mean that in the strictest sense, there's a strong possibility that whatever they're doing uh, is going to take some while. Now, if we do run into somebody who hasn't built anything, and is in a stonewood base, and is saying, build my stuff for me or else, uh, we're, we're done. We're not going to play with that person. We're we're going to find somebody else to play with. But this person here looks like they're absolutely trying to build this rocket ship. They're building up with metal. Um, it's not the worst possible situation. Oh, and they just launched it. So good, awesome. Stage one is go. Get ready to fight. All right, you guys are going to have to die, and then this is going to have to get wrecked out. All right, there we go. I mean, the teddy bear will take this side. You'll notice we have our defender with the monsoon on the other side. All in all, this should be a pretty easy defense now. Um, if they get close to these people in the boxes, they're not going to really like it at all. Occasionally, we may have a straggler. That's fine. Our teddy bear's back up. We're going to drop our teddy bear back. Where'd that bone come from? Teddy bear found the bone? Awesome, teddy bear found the bone. We'll drop a hover turret just to cover the teddy bear. Might as well drop the teddy bear too. So they got tired of standing in the box with her. That's fine. <laughs> People get bored. I get that. Bonus success. Launch pad repairing. Stage one success. Nice work. Repair your defenses and get ready for stage two. Deposit blue glow to prep the rocket for stage two. All right. Hopefully one of these people has blue glow. There's actually some blue glow in the rocket. Not sure what that... There is a purple stamp on the map. What's this? Is this a possible mimic or something? Weird. Not sure what that purple circle on the map is. Not seeing any activity indicating a mimics nearby. Sure. Let's uh 
shoot that guy in the in the plumber side. You are done. You don't have to worry about anybody coming this way at all. It's all coming from over here this time it seems. Alright, that's fine. I had to guess it's the blue blow we're lacking. So I'm going after some blue blow, it looks like. Yep, there's the blue blow right there. soon enough. Oh, there they go. Bonus now active. Keep rocket health above 50%. And we're going to cheese this a little bit. With the, uh, with the Baron, really we could have given it the Val and it would have been all right. Our Baron's got like a lot of armor as its perk, and it has a nice little AOE damage. standard defend the thing though guys that's the nuance on it isn't that all important but we can do some cool things here with the uh, the fire hydrant up on her. They won't be able to harm her hardly at all. I think I need to get a, a weapon that gives her a shield perk though. Excuse me. Up oh, in our in our in our box. Let's go in our box. Eh, put our teddy bear down too. They just put down their own defender post, which means they're about to take my defender out. And that's one thing they could have done. the rocket Bonus success. so we got we got one more stage two success this is it the final stage prepare for the last defense add blue glow to prep the rocket for liftoff they're all coming from this side Of 
course, we can't edit that building. Because what we did to it, eh, we'll just drop us a defend pad right here. Put her out there with that. Actually, you know what? We're going to unsummon her and we're going to go ahead and put out her with the Nocturno. That's weird. It actually has the the hit point meter for the for the rocket. It's strange. And Then the teddy bear gets passed, she guns up. Smash her guts. We had one more thing to decrease the cooldown. We could actually have two teddy bears out at the same time. Don't think that's necessary, but you know, be rather amazing. Of course, having the overpowered shotgun we do is also not that bad of a thing either. Um, we don't have Adrenaline Rush. Otherwise we would have just popped over and saved the person. Ninja was standing on the teddy bear, maybe? Not sure. Not sure. Oh, there's another smasher. Lift off in 30 seconds. And this teddy bear will take down the rest of it. Get a pretty good view of this rocket ship as it goes off. They can't destroy the rocket ship in the two seconds that the teddy bear is dead and the three that it's going to be launching here. There it goes, destroying all the stuff built above it. And what's really funny is the the post combat the uh, the cutscene we're about to see. Here we go. I 
little storm shield nose cone squashes on it. I like the little Batman logo. That's kind of cool. Do. Tier 5 loot. I'll go with Tier 5 loot. And we'll give these people thumbs up. Thumbs up means that the next time that they actually do a mission, they should get a slightly better reward. According to what I've been able to find out from doing some research on it. So I usually try to thumbs up everybody. Even people I don't care about, or don't like, or think they did a bad job. I'll try to thumbs them up if I'm thinking about it. Oh, drops of rain. That's what we're in here for. Is all the drops of rain we can get. Difficulty increase mission rewards. What was that other one, though? I don't even know what the other reward was. Okay, it didn't even tell me what it was. Sometimes it does that. I'm not sure why that is, though. Uh, nope, not, not Clips Nightmare. Clips Nightmare is done. Alright, so we did a couple of Stonewood ones. We're going to go into Plankerton now. Plankerton is a slightly higher difficulty, so we're going to be a little more inclined to go back to our command, go back to our loadout, and kick over from Supply Drop to Adrenaline Rush, not Banner. Adrenaline Rush. And... While Ghoulish Cackle is really, really good, I th think Saurian Instinct might be our better bet. And what this will let us do is when we use our dash, we'll heal. And so we can do Ted, Dash, Tower, a, a trio, and we'll heal like 21% of our base, or our max health. So we got like a, a mini Adrenaline Rush if things get hairy. Now that does use like all of our energy, so we have to be full energy for that to work, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna go into Plankerton. Plankerton's got a different type of missions. But in the most part, people that are playing in public are playing some of the harder stuff sometimes. Um, repair the shelter. Pfft, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Repair the shelter is one of those that um, if I had anybody joining with me, I would be super happy with the world in general. Good. You've reached the shelter. Use the terminal to run diagnostics to see what's wrong. And this is Shorty75 Jr. Not sure why they are going to be doing as far as the build goes. Uh, mission activation vote? Um, sure. So we're gonna do brick. Um, There's an incoming wave detected. We have some yeah. time before they arrive. You can search for missing parts now or reinforce the shelter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually wall walk here. How did something get in here? Ah, oh, okay. They're upgrading our stuff. That's good. Means that they understand what I'm doing. 
means they also agree with the plan. Doing some good stuff there. Oh, come on, come on, wall. Each part will take a minute to install. So, eight modules, one minute per module. That equals a lot of bullets. C bot scan is ready to be activated. All right, we can defend C bot while do scan. that, I guess. All right, and we should be able. A tiered three disc, so that's good. Quiet, please. I am seeing. I am seeing. And inventory traps. This is where we get a little bit on the cheeky cheaty side. Not the eye. Crafting options. We're gonna craft twelve of these. May have noticed that they do healing, right? A module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. All right, I'm not sure what happened there. All right, so ideally. We want our door there. What is seen cannot be unseen. Check your map. The parts are now marked on your map. Okay, let's go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and Put that there. And we're going to go and clean these guys up. Alright. Put that. Not sure how they just appeared like that. But it is how they showed up. Okay. Crafting. New module installation has begun. I'm gonna craft for those. All right. That's what we figured. Has 
see a seabot over here. Bull James, how's it going, man? Sorry, dude. Kind of just zoned in on here for a second. That's kind of cool. That there's an actual tank here. Where there was. Just playing some Fortnite Save the World at the moment. You know, in all in all, just in the grand scheme of things, it's it's been good. It's been great for you too, gay hey, man. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. It's always good to hear people having a good time. Oh, they ran over to the shield regen. I have seen the modules. All right, and on your map. Thanks, let's go ahead and do this. Get out of this hole. Get to this next module. Where is it? Here it is. Especially with all the kind of weather and stuff we've had recently, the, the fact that you're doing good is is just good. New module installation has begun. All right, now we just got to get back to the base. Installation of parts will pause while the shelter is under attack. Only two more modules. Keep searching. All right. Same with me. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know. We uh, we lost power here in the Turtle Club for a little bit. It wasn't too bad though. Defend the shelter. Wasn't too bad, you know. We it was more annoying than anything else. Module installation is paused. It will resume after the rain. Okay. I I don't care about module installation. I care about spawn generation. These things need to start spawning. It's really hard for me to kill anything if there's no spawns. Now, it looks like Shorty's getting all of them. Or not. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we were really concerned about it. You know, the storms around here, we're not used to, Digger and I. We've moved to, you know, Georgia forever and a day ago, it seems. But I grew up in Oklahoma. She grew up in Tennessee, uh, Tennessee and Kentucky and, and a little bit of Texas. Um, so we we really dealt with a lot with you know like tornadoes and maybe some hail storms and stuff like that, but this tropical tropical storm depression stuff, uh, it's it's pretty fierce you know. All right. And we we had, you know, it was it was some uh, pretty impressive stuff. Where is the C bot? Looks like you made a mat. This next oh. raid is gonna be tougher. Okay, that's fine. Here we go, there's the C bot. But yeah, it was it was not exactly C bot scan is ready to be active. Alright, we want to clear this out. Metal, metal, roof, metal. Shoot these guys. Start looking at stuff, Seabot. New module installation has begun. Quiet, please. I am seeing. I am seeing. You are not 
let's get the C bot active. We'll be right back. We'll be right here, man. It's all good. We're here for another about 45 minutes. Come on, C bot. C faster. We, we we're okay with that. We just want the last module to show up. New module installation has begun. I have seen the modules. The parts are now marked on your map. All right. We don't need any more modules. You only need eight. So all we gotta do now is go back to our base. Oh. After all parts have been installed, the shelter will attempt to power back up. When this happens, expect a big fight. The Interesting. enemy will come from all directions. The power Interesting. process takes four minutes. So if we actually make this hole a little bigger, uh, we're, we're doing two things with it. Number one, we're getting some materials like we'd like. Uh, number two, we are going to destroy these the stairs. Which will force the mobs to path around it. New module installation has begun. All right, and there we go. So it looks like they're trying to trap the progress to the base. All right, that's 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 admirable. Um, is there a hill that leads up here? Just that. A module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. Wow, all that stuff to mine from underneath there. New module installation has begun. It looks like the husk's plans have changed. They seem to know the final part is being installed. They must be preparing for a larger attack. Get ready. Uh, yeah, we, we would like to get ready. Tell us where they're coming from, Ray. Installation resuming. Um. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna get this trap on dime, but I might. Uh, looks like they're actually not even coming from the area I was concerned with, so we'll just go over here and shoot these guys. Like seriously, wow, this is like perfect bear choke spot here. Yeah, oh yeah. We're, we're digging this. We are super digging this. Yeah, this is pretty much autopilot at this point until we get the mini boss. Where's the mini boss? Here's mini boss. Here's the epic husky. And we're gonna just bear and smack him all the way down. All right, sounds good. Wait for that debuff to drop off. Smasher. 
No smashers all dead, that's good. Two more minutes to go. Not too bad. I was hoping to snipe that one through the thing again, but oh well. I guess we need to reload our sniper rifle. Oh, we're not killing enough things to keep these teddy bears infinite anymore. Interesting. Sixty seconds and the shelter's coming online. Sweet. You are not here. You are not here. I, uh, there they go. They're killing the smasher. I guess I'll go find the smasher guts. There we go. Special guts, yay! I think this ninja is using like a black shotgun, black metal. Could be wrong. thing about this mission is it actually ends fast as far as once it ends no drawn-out cutscenes anything like that coconut banner indicating that they play during the pirate stuff that's kind of cool we did it right looks like tier two tier three loot We're going for stoic. All right, we'll do stoic. We'll do Superman superhero flip. So we got probably enough time for two more play with other missions. Uh, up in the loot, got some good stuff there. We got a cache, which will give us like a couple of things. One maybe. Oh, that was nice actually. Wow. Okay. That's what we're here for. This drops rain, right? So speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a real quick look. Uh, go to our storage. Materials. I don't think they're actually in that storage though, right? No, they're not. They're actually in the resources tab. So we're at 21 drops of rain. That's not too horrible. Uh, that'll let us go to our command. And this is why we're trying to get this all up is we're trying to get us a no not you absolutely not you upgrade commando do evolution so he needs 30 for once we get the candy valley but the rest of these guys in his build that i'm actually playing with uh, not all of them are evolution ready yet uh, so where is it Uh, that one's 35, that one's 69. He might be ready for uh, evolution. He's just ready for some level up. We'll, we'll wait that out for a second. Level up. I thought we had one ready to evo that was too low for us. Um, shell shock. Hmm. Well, now. Ain't that just a kick? 
Now let's see here. Let's uh, I I guess to get this up a little bit better, we're gonna go for for this. Yeah, not much, but it is. It's 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 a it's more than zero, right? But the the idea for this build is to be able to go going commando is just the whole entire time. All right, back to Plankerton. Back to the play with others. And hit that launch button. The unfortunate thing about the play with others thing, though, is it's it's all the missions that are in this shard, this server, right? So I don't know what we're about to jump into. Uh, we definitely don't want to be Commando Spitfire for it, though. We know that much. Um, ride the Lightning. Okay. But it's going to be something in the Plankerton level. It's going to be something that we can easily do because we're a little bit overleveled for it. Not all the way, but a little bit. And... No one's found the, the van yet. Okay. I thought I heard Lars's music, but I guess not. All right. This is a neat little zone. I don't recognize it actually. Huh. We do know we need blue glow for the van. We know we need a total of four to be able to do this. And we know that's the Miss Monster song for takers. And that's her death throw, death knell, whatever you want to call it as well. Um, I heard something over here. Guess it's just them storing. Alright, we're at two blue glow, we need two more. Oh, there's a shard, which is great for us. Okay. Add blue glow to prepare oh. for liftoff. Someone's already got the van done. Uh we need that last little bit of blue glow. So the hard part is finding the van usually, and they've already done that, so that's not bad. It is. I'm not seeing the build ticking up at all, which is slightly concerning. It's a health boost. We don't need a health boost for this. Objective difficulty vote? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Um, sure, why not? Defend the van. Uh. Okay, well, we've got a bonus in play. That's how some that's how we really expected a lot of this to go, guys. Was people to do kind of trolley things like that, but at least they're quickly building the base. bigger problem is that we didn't quite get enough kills for the bear. So this bear is going to have a long cooldown. So what we're going to do to shore that up is we're going to pull up two hover turrets. We 
we should be pretty well off here now. burn our adrenaline rush because they were definitely damaged. Um, using the ghost pistol, not the smartest build, but they are a constructor. I was hoping they would actually put down their base, but they, they didn't. That's okay. Mission control, start objective, start the close. I think we'll need a little more blue glow. Add blue glow and get ready to defend the van. Flip the switch when you're ready. And they're gonna come from multiple different places. We're waiting for the person to actually vote. Why they didn't vote, I don't know. Well, maybe they don't know how to vote. I mean, that's always a possibility. Looks like, so it's gonna be two pronged attack, a little bit from here, a little bit from down there, okay. Defend the band. All right, let's see which direction they go. Uh, I guess we can't actually just decide which way to go and defend the other way. We have to defend both of them, maybe. They're just going to stand there. Alright, so it's clear that they don't know anything what they're doing. So, alright, that's fine. Line of sight from a Ted. Chalk Tower. Put the Teddy right there. It'll. If we actually clear the path through both directions for the Teddy, because these things are so low level, we'll probably be okay. Mini boss. Wall weakening, shield breaking, nothing we really want to have anything to do with from that boss. Absolutely brought up the Baron to take him out. Same thing. we got here. 
All right, we're full upgraded. At least they built with wood, so it's not costing us that much, like at all, right? Uh, they they blew their turret early, and it's just fine. Ah, uh, they're trying to protect this side while they go off to the other one. Smart tactic. We use it all the time. Still using this choke point. This this it's not exactly a choke point, but it's a natural pathing spot where any of them go, they're gonna have to go into this line of sight for the Ted. Oh, what do we got? Where do we got it? We got a smasher over there. Alright. And we're gonna pop our ever turret for the next one. Turtle Club, you may notice when I'm using my shotgun, the disintegrator, that I'm not always shooting at the actual mobs. This thing does such good splash damage, I don't have to hit them directly. It does AoE damage, which is what I'm really depending upon. Which is why I use it for the refrigerator guys. Uh, you basically shoot right at their feet, and the damage goes right behind them. And that's, that's, you know, that's exactly what you want. So, see this, I can't really hurt them, but I shoot right there. And it does damage. One of the just the better ways to take those guys out if you don't have a move that does damage to them. Of course, the pistol that shoots through them is actually pretty flippin' amazing too. I'll have to tell Digrat about that because Digrat hates fighting those things. We get the rock and guitar solo from Lars, member of the Steel Wool Rock Band. Gotta love that. Probably get tier 2 loot, maybe? Yeah, that's not bad. And Lurk Squad, thank you for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate all you out there that are doing this. Fortnite Fridays is well, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I really like the game. You know, it it's had its ups and downs. I'm not a fan of the Battle Royale, but I really do enjoy the Save the World content. I like being able to kind of just mindlessly veg out. So thank you for coming in and saying hi today while we're doing all this. I really appreciate it. I promise you we'll be back to shipwrecked on a Saturday tomorrow morning with some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We are currently two dungeons, uh, three dungeons, we're three dungeons and the castle down. Uh, we still have a total of like six more dungeons, I think. But yeah, we are, hey, thanks me, T-Mac for the, the GG's there, man. Let's go ahead and go command, actually armory. Uh, no, it's command, I was in the right place. Survivors. Uh, Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I think I was in the wrong spot. Yeah, the wrong spot because we want to go to survivors. No, defenders. So heroes, defenders. Now nah, I have confused face. Alright, survivors. It's got to be survivors. I must have had it right the first time. We want to go to manage, though. Go to these because they're just the peoples and we're scrolling down to. Did I recycle them? Is that what happened? Could have sworn that was... So where'd he go? I just got a blue one. Been lurking here for a while. All right, man, it's all good. We, we have nothing wrong with the lurk squad. Wow, that's so weird. I, I know I opened something and it had a reward. I don't remember recycling it. Oh well. Well, we're gonna go for the last mission of the day, guys. We're gonna go over 
I really don't think I'm good for Candy Valley. It's 40 to 70, and I want to point out that I'm 72. Um, but I'm also a, a scrub, right? <laughs> so we're going to go with play with others. We're going to hit the button. We're going to say quick play. We're going to launch. And we're going to see if we even get anywhere with people. Or if it just puts me in a random mission. Wero, Wero, 35, and he's a 56. Resupply, okay. All right, we can do this. We can so resupply. All right. We were concerned. We had concerns. We had questions and problems. And there's a chance that we're going to get in this mission, and Wero is unfortunately not going to be doing well at all. Because this play with others mission seems like it can just drop you in the middle of anywhere too. In the middle of the mission, uh, we resupply missions. We've, we've shown what those were when we first started this series. We get about 10 minutes to loot, smash, and grab. While the storm's closing in. It's good little practice for people wanting to play Battle Royale in, in sort of essence, right? Same thing with the uh, eliminate and collect. But it's, it's not the best. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. You've got 10 minutes to grab anything you need. But watch out, the storm's closing in. You'll take damage in the storm, so stay moving and watch your map. So whack the troll, we're going to do that. Bonus objectives are in play. Usually there's a collect blue glow objective. Yeah, right there. And that's the reason why I started doing this. Cuz I knew the blue glow was going to be kind of important possibly. All right. So the reason why we take our Outlander in to, for these things is because we have the anti-material charge, and it is so important because if you do it right, you can take out three things like that, which means that we just absolutely have the best possible time with harvesting all these things. All right, and let's see here. Search this. See, this is a cactus and a tree and another cactus. And we take out. Oh, we got a searchable thing, so we wanted to search it too. Alright, get the blue glow. Build a radar tower as well. should help us determine when the storm hit in the past. If. If and when, but mostly when. Alright, so we're looting stuff, we're looting rocks. We have to loot rocks anyways. So this really double double dips for us. I, anytime I can double dip, I'm really good for that. Um, wow. So, what's the deal with this rock? Classic strata composition. Oh look, trilobite. Nature's least useful fossil. I'll let them know you're disappointed. Oh, they know. Alright. Sweet. And we're not supposed to be killing things, we're supposed to be just getting things. We're getting a blue glow and then we're getting out of here is what we're getting. Alright, so we need trees and to harvest anything. Or search anything, rather. Alright, we'll put this down. So, when you're playing with somebody who actually knows how to destroy all the things here, you'll find out rather quickly that you run out of things to easily harvest. And what this roughly boils down to for these missions, after playing hundreds of them, um, quite probably hundreds of them, um... 500 minutes of my life, right? Um, is that it comes down to these search things. Ah, come on. Search and get out. Ooh, 
The trees, they're irritating in the desert. They're not the best thing to get a hold of. But they're still they're still pretty plentiful. The thing that you really have to worry about is to be able to harvest anything. Really is what it boils down to. Or to search anything rather, not harvest anything. Uh, let's see what do we got. And that'll complete it. So now all I gotta do now is just do my mission. Which I have no problem doing. What's really great about this mission is it really is just break rocks and then collect stuff. I don't know. Something isn't right. And players like to do things to things that have exclamation points on them. They they actually they've been conditioned to do that, right? You see an exclamation point, you do something to it. And then you hope for the best. You hope it's got something really good with it. And because whoops. And because people on the whole are usually looking out for numero uno. For these quests you can usually count on strangers to do stuff with. Alright, I hear some kind of miss monster. Sounds like a taker. Five minutes left. Could be wrong though. Zach, Zach, nope, it's a taker. What's pretty funny about all this is it's basically the Wily Coyote stage. And these rocks are the Wally Coyote rocks. We're at 5 out of 10 blue glow. Ugh. Ah, there's some blue glow this way, though. Oh, and an anomaly? Okay, well, we got this then. somewhere here. Let's just drop the Ted. Give us some breathing room for a little bit. And we're going to drop us some... some we're going to use metal to get to these because it's going to give us the most amount of time before these guys actually start damaging us. And... And here we go. It's going to get us some blue glow. Anomalies always have four blue glow. Which is good to know. So super awesome for that. So all we need for this blue glow mission now is just one more piece. Looks like they're going to grab it. Sweet. We have definitely got to get out of the storm though now. Because we are taking massive damage. Alright. Now one thing I have noticed doing some missions though is a lot of these missions is like the rock mission we're doing right now. We, we got a few rocks. Five out of seven, right? We've destroyed so many rocks to get these 5 out of 7, though. It's still not enough. We're going to destroy this one, and I'm willing to bet that as we destroy more and more of these tree these rocks, all we're going to do is run out of rocks. Here oh. Go. Yeah, this one too. I don't know what's going on. Really? Isn't it obvious? No. Any statement beyond this is a rock is not obvious. Hmm. Really? Yeah, really? You're the only one here who speaks rock. <laughs> right. Sorry. You're missing out. 
That's a beautiful language. Okay. Two minutes left. Keep an eye on your objectives. Smash it, grab it, and get ready to run. So there is a rock somewhere here. That is some textbook strata right there. Is there a cave that gets into the rock? Seem to be where we want to be. Wiggler, we really don't need. We're just kind of conditioning ourselves to grab it when we see it. So, one thing that happens in these missions now is off the cliff is absolutely a place where they can hide stuff. And they have did so a couple times now. We have enough hit points though with this character in this particular zone that we should be okay. Oh, there we go. There's a good old exclamation point on the map. It says that it's up there. We will absolutely go for it up there, wherever up there is. We'll drop this because that that many is definitely nope, especially in the, sh the, the storm. Oh, we got another sample. We will. Are you gonna tell me what you're seeing here? The strata is inconsistent. Meaning? It usually means hmm. the ground is shifting, but according to the geological survey, that should not be happening. Okay. Here. Something interesting. Is interesting little story components. Bonus challenge success. Good job, team. Hmm. Total Club, we are going to be calling the stream here after we finish this up and crack open our llamas because we had some mini llamas, right? And we said we open them at the end. We're going to break it on down here. Oh, thanks for the GG's to you back. Thanks for the GG, man. Get us some rewards for just doing that mission. Hopefully, we get some drops of rain, but if we don't, that's all right. Mission alert, some wrench, and some fire ups. Not bad. But now we're going to go to llamas. We're going to take our look at our loot llamas, mini rewards. We're going to always go to the multiple one to save some time here. Hit the claim button. So, the storm shield we did earlier, you may remember. We got three mini llamas. And mini llamas don't contain a whole lot of high tier loot, but they do contain a whole a lot of loot. I mean, three llamas here. And you can see that we got, what, four, eight, 12, 16, um, 19. 19 items. And, you know, we got some survivor loot. We got some, you know, some, some XP. Uh, the gold is probably the best thing that comes out of these little llamas. Uh, we see that we got like a tiered up as well. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's the gold's kind of important because you're able to use it in the, the actual loot shop under items to get some things. Like if you needed this particular schematic, which apparently I do, I don't own any. So, we're going to get that anyways. And go to schematics, go to weapons, crank shot, collect it, put it in our collection book. Speaking of which, where are we at on that? We're doing pretty good. Level 150. But yeah, Turtle Club, um, that's basically all it is for the play with others. I mean, you're going to get a grab bag of stuff. We got everything from resupply missions to repair the shelters to build the rocket. And build the rocket, every single zone you go into has a build the rocket. Uh, the blast off mission is always always on the map somewhere um, it is not a good mission it takes a lot of resources it takes a lot of time and it doesn't give you a lot of rewards so when people are wanting to do that they're not really going to have people just randomly stumble and group up with them which is unfortunate uh, Plankerton's got one Stonewood's got one 
Stonewoods is so out of the way. I mean, look, you can see the storm shield kind of encroaching upon it. So it's just a good idea to like help people out. The other thing I want to point out, we did all these play with others missions, right? None of these missions here have check marks. None of them. So that means that if you're just doing a grind, like, you know, I've been going after drops of rain, I could go in here and solo this, as we've showed you on the stream before. Once I got that mission, though, I can't do that mission again. But if I go and play with others, I could wind up going into somebody's mission for it that has all the bonuses. And that's actually pretty good, in my opinion. Um, that's pretty good. Mission rewards, 20% bonus XP. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. But Turtle Club, I'm going to have myself a good night. Sally... T-Mac, our sponsors are in for today. Thank you guys for showing up. Bull James, friend of the channel for years. Thank you for popping in as well, man. Really appreciate all you guys coming in and saying hi to me and just kind of just chilling. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be playing some of that wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. Sunday morning, we'll be showing you our new base on Fortnite Survival Evolve. We've been working on that for a while now. Um, and, uh, of course, Pocket Monster Monday is on Monday. So, Turtle Club, have yourself a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner, whatever about you're doing. Make sure you stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care. <laughs>